वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो विल बी सॉल्विंग एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड अ फ्यू थ्योरी एंड एटीपी क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द टॉपिक एलिमेंट्स कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर्स व्हिच इज अ सब टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर एटम्स एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एमसीक्यू नंबर 1 सेज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सब्सटेंसेस डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट एज अ मॉलिक्यूल okay we have iodine iodine exists as a diatomic molecule okay nitrogen exists as a diatomic molecule uh then uh, so we can say iodine and nitrogen are not the uh, option then we have um, methane methane is uh, made up of c uh, ch4 or carbon hydrogen overall molecules so we cannot say that okay now we are left with bronze and bronze is not become uh, made up of molecule instead it is, is an alloy which is made up of copper and tin atoms so this is the right answer which of the following substances is a mixture of compound okay mixture of compound okay steel is not a mixture of compound silicon is also not a mixture of compound and, and neither is uh, copper to sulfate but sugar solution is a mixture of many compounds right so let's answer how many atoms are there in one formula unit of uh, ammonium phosphate okay now they have given us number of the atoms uh, which um, we need to select an option okay so let's count how many uh, units are there of each type of element so we have n and there is a uh, 3 there so we will write okay now the sequence is n h p o so we will write n first so there are 3 n how many h uh, 4 h inside and 3 outside which makes it 12 then we have p which is only 1 and then we have o which is 4 so we need to select an option which has a number 3 12 1 4 4 and only option d has the op- the the correct pattern of 3 12 1 and 4 all right so move on move on the chemical formula of uh, salicylic acid salicylic acid is c6h4ohco2h how many different elements are present c h and o only three are present b three which of the following correctly matches the name of the element of its a uh, two its symbol okay the symbol of tin is uh, tn the the symbol of magnesium is uh, mn the symbol of fluorine is f so means these are wrong and only one left is b so xenon okay question 6 which of the following uh, list has an element Uh, in which liquid state element has a element in liquid state and a compound in the gaseous state okay so mercury is in liquid state and uh, then we have compound in gaseous state yeah carbon dioxide is compound in gaseous state so our answer is b simple is that question 7 suppose a solution contain 10 formula units of sodium nitrate okay let's write formulas um, means the equation na no3 uh 15 formula units of barium nitrate 15 of barium nitrate ba no3 and then uh, uh, it says uh, 10 formula units of iron 3 nitrate okay so 10 f e n o 3 3 
how many uh, oxygen atoms are present in the solution okay so we need to multiply the uh, formula into the number of oxygen okay so uh, we have o3 multiplied by 10 which means three units of oxygen multiplied by 10 which makes it 30 plus uh, 15 units and uh, 3 units of oxygen and 2 here so it means that O3 2 means O6 and 6 into 15 is 6 into 15 okay it's 90 and then we have uh, O3 3 and 10 uh, 3 into 3 is 9 and 9 into 10 is 90 so our answer is 180 and 30 which is 210 so the right option is c 8 the ratio of carbon to oxygen to nitrogen to hydrogen in a compound is 1 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 which of the following could be the chemical formula of this compound okay it means that there needs to be one ca means uh, the ratio of this element should be carbon oxygen nitrogen hydrogen means the add up of uh, hydrogen okay leave it um so let's check the options okay so first one is not possible and why is that so because you can see that this o is small which means that there is no oxygen and co with a small o means cobalt it's not carbon or oxygen okay so this is not an option then we have b c or d now let's count the ratio one carbon present one oxygen present but we have eight nitrogen and four hydrogen okay so this is wrong then we have d uh, two carbon two oxygen uh, to this and for this which makes it 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 2 um, this is also wrong well we are only left with C which would be the right answer but let's check it anyways okay uh, so C O 1 1 2 and 4 okay so the right answer is C now you know why they gave this first option of CO and 2H4 because a student who does not know that uh, the second letter or uh, if the second letter of uh, any 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 letter used in a compound is small or yeah if any letter is used in a compound uh, it is small so it means that it is the second letter of the element right means uh, you never um, have a symbol of an element with a small letter you always have the first letter large and then the second letter small okay so yeah so basically a student without knowing that CO is basically cobalt would have selected the first option, right? So keep that in mind. Which of uh, which of the following statement is R2? Okay. No chemical change takes place when a mixture is formed. That's true. And that's true so let's place a tick here for the right statements the components of a mixture can be mixed in any proportion yes there is no exact proportion you can mix and them in any proportion the smallest particle of a compound is a molecule or a formula unit no that's untrue or false and the last one is if a substance cannot be broken down by heating it is classified as an element yes so we have one, two, and four, and the right option is C. An alcohol has the molecular formula C2H5CO2H. What is the ratio of carbon to oxygen to hydrogen atoms? Okay. 
so this is simple now we're just gonna highlight the answer because it's basically very easy see okay question 11 a certain ionic compound compromises two elements each molecule of Hmm. Ionic compound compromises four elements. If three quarters of the element in each molecule are the non-metallic element, which of the following compound could be the ionic compound? Okay. Let's read it again. In a certain ionic compound, a certain ionic compound compromises two elements. Okay, so there are two elements. Each molecule of the ionic compound compromises four atoms. Okay, so this means that the molecule of ionic compound compromises four atoms okay there are four atoms atom two element okay and uh, if three quarters of an atom uh, in each molecule are of the non-metallic element which of the following compound could be ionic okay now they are saying four atoms. Let's check four, five, and six. No, the first option is not possible because there are six atoms. D, A, Na, one, H, two, C makes three and three, three, six. No, it is also not possible. Now only possible are B or C. Now let's check. Now they are saying two elements. Yes, they are two elements. Okay, now that's getting interesting. Um. Non-metallic element, okay. Three quarters of non-metallic. So, which means that the other one will be metallic because it they are saying ionic. Now, SO3 is not an ionic compound, okay. It's uh, covalent, so it means that cut out this option and we are only left with this one. Which of the following? correctly matches the name of the element to its symbol and the ion it usually forms okay let's check which one is the right one okay so it's a it's calcium ca or ca2 plus it is the cation which is formed answer is this one Now just see for a minute hydrogen it has already only one electron okay it usually shares an electron okay it forms a covalent bond okay but it 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 makes other bonds as well but that's not usual Chlorine has uh, this as well. But the case is that, just think for a moment, usually forms. Usually forms, whenever they say, as, are, are saying usually forms, it means that it can easily form. Okay. When easily form means that it can, it can lose more electrons. Okay. Gaining electron is difficult in contrast to losing electron. Okay. So that's why I selected option A. And in fact, it is the right answer. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. And now these are the questions of theory and alternate to practical paper. Complete the following table. Carbon monoxide. Okay. So we need to write the chemical formula. Okay. So these are simple. carbon monoxide co okay so i just remember it so i can easily write it but yeah you can if you are unsure about some so you can check means make the um, chemical formula by the crisscross method okay sodium chloride sodium chloride nacl 
um, NH3 for ammonia, copper to hydroxide, CuOH2. Uh, potassium carbonate K2CO3 K2CO3 and then we have magnesium sulfate MgSO4 MgSO4 and uh, since you can see the symbols of element which I've used in the chemical formula you can deduce the name of the elements but anyways I'm just adding the names of the elements uh, in carbon monoxide, we have carbon oxygen. In sodium chloride, we have sodium chlorine. And we have uh, in ammonia, we have uh, nitrogen, hydrogen. Uh, in copper to hydroxide, we have copper, oxygen, hydrogen. In potassium carbonate, we have potassium, carbon, oxygen. And in magnesium sulfate, we have magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. Okay. So for this, you will get six marks. Okay. Write the full name of each of the following compound. Okay. So this is easy. K, potassium, OH, hydroxide, potassium, hydroxide. Potassium, hydroxide. BaO, barium oxide. PBCO3, lead carbonate, okay, lead 2 carbonate. Now you can check this from the periodic table. You can check the symbols of elements and you can simply write the full formula, okay. Element R reacts with hydrogen to give a substance that does not break down into simpler substance when heated. We uh, can we conclude the substance as an element? Okay, uh, so I will just tell you the answer. Okay, listen it carefully. We cannot deduce. Uh, that or we cannot conclude that is it an uh, is the substance an element or not the reason is that it breaks down it does not break uh, it the substance does not breaks down on heating but but it is possible that it may break down by using electricity or light there are chemicals uh, there are substances which break down by using electricity electric current okay so we are not sure that is it an element or not okay so i will write no it might break down with electric current Okay, table, okay, question 15. The data uh, below uh, shows the composition of air in Earth's atmosphere millions of years ago and in present day. Composition of air, millions of years ago, carbon dioxide was 78%, hydrogen was 1%, nitrogen was 21%. Today, it is uh, the carbon dioxide is 0.03%, nitrogen is 78%, noble gas is 1%, and Oxygen is 21%. From the data above, explain why air is classified as a mixture. Okay. So, the answer is uh, simple. Okay. There are two reasons, by the way, for this. Let me write the answer here. Okay. First, no fixed composition. The composition of air can vary place to place, okay? 
that's the first point and the second point is uh, that air is made up of different elements and compounds uh, but they are not chemically combined element compound not chemically combined okay that's why it is a mixture name the elements and compounds that are found in the above table okay elements we have uh, hydrogen nitrogen noble gas oxygen and uh, the compound is carbon dioxide okay uh, part c uh, hydrogen ox uh, hydrogen and oxygen were placed together in a gas jar the light splint was introduced into the gas jar and a new substance a colorless liquid was formed okay uh, name the substance that was formed okay water because if we will uh, uh, burn hydrogen and oxygen together it will form water right write a balance equation with state symbol for reaction that occurred okay h2 it's gas plus o2 results in h2o liquid now we have O2, but yeah, we cannot write 2 here, right? It will become uneven. And we have H2 here. So what we can do is that we can write 2H here and 2H2 here. Now this is a balanced equation, okay? This is the answer, okay? 3. Compare the characteristics of substance named in 1 with that of the air. So this is a simple... Uh, this is very simple because you need to compare air and water so i will just tell you okay i'm not writing it water is a compound but air is a mixture okay uh, in water the components are in a fixed proportion while in air they are not in a fixed proportion the physical and chemical properties of uh, water are different from uh, those of its constituent elements since we know that after a chemical reaction or chemical change uh, or uh, two elements chemically combine uh, the properties are not that of its constituent elements uh, but unlike the case of uh, air the chemical properties of air are the same okay because uh, it's a mixture they are not chemically combined water can be broken down by a chemical reaction into elements okay but air can be separated into its components by physical processes okay you can do fractional distillation of air right uh, but for water you need to uh, carry out different process okay so those are the simple differences question 16 uh, p q r s t u okay which of the diagram above uh, each uh, of the following give an example of each of them okay oh two marks for each that's a good one a solid compound okay so the solid compound would be u 
okay don't get confused between p and u because the case is that p is a solid element because all the atoms are of same color means they are not shaded unshaded they are all of same type it means that it is an element whereas u has different atoms black and white so it means that it is a compound right a gaseous compound okay so it would be q because it's in gaseous state and it is a compound because there are two different types of atoms combined together so we'll write q a solid element p a liquid compound okay uh, so i'll write Mm. S. Okay. A gaseous mixture of gases. A gaseous mixture of elements. My bad. Okay. Uh, so the so for E we would write T. Okay, now the reason is that uh, there are gases which uh, exist as diatomic molecules. So here we can see uh, they are diatomic, two elements, uh, two atoms of same type. And then the uh, uh, last one is F, a mixture of element and compound, element and compound. So here we can write R. Why? The reason is that you can see here there are two white but they are some black and white as well. So it means that it's a mixture. They are not chemically uh, combined. Okay. Now thing is that you only, you don't only need to write this, uh, uh, these letters. You also need to give an example. Okay. So let's write the examples as well. Okay. So first we have uh, a solid compound we can write uh, sodium chloride. Okay, I will write here sodium chloride, sodium chloride. Then we have a gaseous compound Q. Gaseous compound Q. Okay, we can write uh, carbon monoxide. Okay, uh, I, I am just giving these examples, but you can name any other compound if you have in mind, but just keep one thing in mind. See the picture, U. For U, we have this picture. There's one of black, so there's one of white, then there's again one of white, so there's one of black, which means the ratio of elements is one is to one. Okay, so the formula of sodium chloride is an ACL, which means that one of uh, sodium and one of chloride means one chlorine and one sodium so it means the ratio should be one is to one okay in carbon monoxide the case is same q uh, the ratio is one is to one one black one white so we'll write one is to one ratio uh, p the solid element okay um we can write any solid element okay it does not matter okay so i will write gold liquid compound s okay now there's a very common compound which is water okay and the reason to take it is that the ratio should be one is to two so there is one h and there are two o okay e a gaseous mixture of elements mixture of hydrogen and oxygen Okay, so we can write uh, T. T is what? A mixture of hydrogen or oxygen. Uh, then we can write, okay, hydrogen plus oxygen. Then we will write in the last one. F a mixture of elements and compound. Okay. So we can write here 
मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड ओके सो दिस वॉज easy this was uh, th- uh, this wasn't difficult okay this was easy question it was a marks gaining question okay moving on towards the last question of this video then in the next video we'll be solving the questions of atomic structure okay a liquid x contains two elements two compounds draw a diagram to represent x two elements and two compounds okay okay so uh, there will be some gap okay let me draw a small diagram here the uh, the both uh, atoms should be together okay you cannot make them separate for now okay uh, this is just simple okay now we will make a different element okay okay so we have made two elements now we have to make two compounds okay so this is simple we can make two compounds easily now how will i do it i have made red circles which represent one atom and then the next one the next circle will make a compound and then we have the last thing to do which is another compound so it's easy single circle like this and then another compound in between okay so it makes like something like co2 okay and this is how you will make the whole diagram and you will get how many marks three marks for it state two differences between x and its components okay acha the component of x are not chemically combined but the atoms of element and compounds in x are chemically combined okay means all the things you are seeing in x they are not combined together but individually if you see we have the red atoms and black they are either together or separately with each other combined okay so you get three marks for drawing two marks for uh, for writing which i have just told you and the last one is how would you confirm that x is a mixture okay so okay let me think for a moment what can we do you also think for a moment that what we can do to tell that is it a mixture or not okay uh, so there is a very simple way uh, to find that is this liquid a mixture or not so i pour this mixture in a beaker and uh, place it on a bunsen burner and uh, start heating it and keep a thermometer there a laboratory thermometer now what happens is that when you heat a mixture the result is 
that you will see that the mixture would be boiling and the temperature would be increasing as well okay whereas you know that when we boil a pure substance which is either element or a compound we have a constant boiling or melting temperature or a constant melting or boiling point uh, when the substance changes the state but when we are boiling it so what will happen it will boil it will boil at a range of temperatures okay like uh, it would be boiling at 86 and we will also see that it is also boiling at a temperature of 100 uh, all right so the temperature would be increasing would be changing and the uh, and the uh, uh, liquid x would be boiling simultaneously so if both things are happening simultaneously that the temperature is changing and a substance is changing in state which uh, in my case here i have written boiling so this it means that it is impure and when i say impure it means it is a mixture all right so that's for today we have solved uh, approximately in total 17 questions uh, which included atp mcqs and theory questions of the topic element compounds and mixtures so thanks for watching please uh, sub, uh, subscribe to the channel and share the channel to the friends so they could also benefit thank you